Hey everyone and welcome back to Miranda Patron Art. I am super excited to show you a fun shape to do today and we are going to get started right away here. Just a reminder, I am only on Facebook now and Etsy, um, obviously in addition to the YouTube. Um, but my website is down until I can find another host that can accommodate our needs. All right. Housekeeping out of the way, let's get started with this fun new design. Okay, so I have been frequently going to check out our dollar store, and that's not the carrot, that's an acorn, but I'm just going to leave this one in here. <laughs> so they have so many fun shapes. There's the carrot. They have tons and tons of shapes now. I was not... Um, really sold on dollar store items but they have a great craft section now and i've actually just been kind of testing out the waters to see um the viability of some of these items so i was really excited to find these cute little carrots uh to try a design on and they have everything at arts from hearts to stars to carrots to butterflies i even have some rabbit's feet coming up so yeah, or rabbit paw prints rather. So I just encourage you to kind of keep an eye out for things to paint if you don't already. The Dollar Tree is actually pretty decent. So this is the little guy we're gonna paint today. One of these. And this is the design completion. So if you're excited to do this, stick with me and let's get started. Okay, on to the color inspiration. This is just a quick reminder. I have a Pinterest page here with all the color palettes that I usually look through if I'm stuck on coming up with some scheme, color scheme for a project. So for our carrot today, I did search through a lot of color palettes actually. There's not an actual one that is just carrot. <laughs> so. Um, and obviously I used some non-traditional colors in with that. So here is a great example of ones that we could use for a fun, just little pop of color and tying in the corals and the greens together. I did kind of do something like this one where it has the copper involved in it as well. And then some really great greens and then I added white as well um, and then the hint of mint so I kind of drew from multiple ones for today's piece all right so we have our little carrot here and what I did for this because I'd like to make it a magnet instead of an ornament I put a little glue to cover up the hole so that I'm going to paint over it, it'll be solid and I'm not going to be sticking any string or anything through it to make it an ornament. And then we will just glue an ornament onto the, I mean a magnet onto the back of it. Okay, so I'm just going to take some of my black paint here and we're going to give it a black background just because the colors of the carrot, like orange and green, they need a little help with their pop. So. I'm just going to do a darker background because then when we do the top, it'll give it that little pop. And you can use a sponge brush or a regular brush, whatever you want to just kind of smooth it out here. Glue is just about dry, but what I'm going to have to do in the glue dot is do a little bit of extra paint because it's clear. The glue will just cover that up so that it will look like a solid canvas that we are working on. Alright, so I am starting off with my angled paintbrush and some rose gold here. 
and I want to kind of keep the top part separate so we're going to do where we kind of it looks like we've cut our mandala in half a little bit so it would be as if the carrot was cut out of it and the design is just starting here okay, with the so rose gold I'm and the half circle on for now the with center. Some white. And I just want to kind of create my spacing here. So one above and two off to either side. And then in between the first ones you put down and then in between that next round. And that just helps to start off the spacing so we can keep our symmetry. Now I'm using the coral shell mixed with white. And in between the white dots we're putting that coral shell. And then we're going to come in here with just the regular coral shell that doesn't have white in it. And I'm going a little larger with the dots. So you could use a larger dotting stylus at this point and just start your progression. Okay, now I've mixed a little of the coral blush in with the coral shell just to kind of darken it so you're getting that ombre effect where you start off lighter and then go a shade darker, a shade darker, a shade darker of similar color. And these ones we're going to have to continue a little farther just because it, our design would have gone all the way to the top here. And I'm literally just painting circles, that's all I'm doing. Your dotting tools will do the same. This is about the size of a two millimeter, the blue one in the rainbow set. Now the coral blush, as you can see, is considerably darker, but it's such a pretty color. So we're gonna go in between the ones that we just put down with the coral blush here. So again, just a reminder, the working on wood, sometimes you just need a little finesse, but or you could seal it first, because sometimes it soaks differently into the wood. So just so you can see, I'm going to switch to a dotting tool so that you can see the brushes work just as well as the tools. So don't feel intimidated or dissuaded in any way to prefer tools over a brush. You can use the tools just as easily as the brushes. There's no more prestige or anything like that in brushes. You can still make a beautiful creation. I love this rose gold. I let it dry a little bit here because I got busy with something else but I don't want to waste what I put down on the palette here but you can see it's got that little string coming up just have to make sure that you let the string drop back into the dot and don't pull your tool away too fast because it will drop a line right across your painting and just like the brushes you can take the tool and push the paint around into whatever shape you want basically. So I'm just drawing a circle here. Just to finish the design all the way up to the top here. So a lot of these mandalas that I do with a predefined sh shape. Sometimes you think about it, it might be hard to stay within the lines, but you just have to think about it as if we punch that shape right out of a total circular mandala, and then you'll kind of be able to picture it in your mind as to how far you need the design to go. I want to do the carrot top green, so I'm saving that space to do at a later point in time. <clears throat> So I'm going to grab my etcher tool now, but you can use a toothpick, a mechanical pencil, just anything really super tiny on the end, even one of the smallest dotting tools. 
I'm going to go with some white here because I want to come down in here now that this is dry. And just do a little dot of white in between each of these ones we put down at the start. And you can do it with the brush too. Whatever way you get the paint onto your quote unquote canvas. And this will kind of make the design a little more cohesive. So I'm going to go with each color in between to just fill in that space there. And if you need to, too, you can just up your tool size if you want it a little more in between. These are still pretty small dots, so I can continue to use the etcher to tuck these ones in between was that first round of coral shell mixed with white. And again, carry the design all the way to where our imaginary line is here, which would delineate where the green top is going to be. Then I'm going to switch to the other end and just use the actual coral shell. That was our next one here. And this gold ends a little bit larger. So you could do this just up with your paintbrush or upping your size of your tool. Okay, and the next ring out was the coral shell mixed with the coral blush. And the last round was the actual coral blush. I can see a little black through this one, so I'm just gonna paint it up there. Our cute little orange carrot is coming along nicely. All right, so I'm going to go with some copper now, just to kind of pair up with this nice coral we have here, the darker one. And I'm going to use the number two millimeter, which is the blue one, just to kind of follow that line of dots that we've already created here. And I'm tucking them in really close. You can see they're bleeding in a little bit because the copper is a little fluid, which is fine. At the end, you're probably not going to notice that. Yeah, but if you wanted, you could go back over it while it was dry and put dots in between for another look. That'll kind of help that. But I'm probably just going to leave it because I am content that it didn't overrun it too much there. We're just working our way around following the line that we already made of that darker orange. So this is the other end of the two millimeter and I grabbed that bright coral again. I'm sorry, the coral blush. And we're just going to carry that color out with smaller dots in between here to kind of bulk up this design just a bit. Mm -hmm. 
Gonna grab my silicone tool now and some rose gold here because we're gonna do some ovals on this little carrot. I kind of want to stay in line with this here. And then also your point. Just kind of imagine that line there. And see, that's what I was talking about too, about it being a little tacky, a little stickier. So I'm gonna skip a dot and go over the next one here. And again, this is a confined space of the carrot, so. But we're gonna make it kind of like our design would have kept going had it not been the shape of a carrot here. I pulled my tool up too soon there, but that's fine because we can just put a little bit of black background back on there and you'll never know. I mean, you'll know because you watched me do it, but no one will be the wiser that I had dropped extra paint off there. So one of the things, this is because I've left it out on my palette, it's a little tackier, so I can take some flow medium for this one and just mix it with flow medium if I wanted it to get thinner and be a little easier to work with. Also, I could have covered my palette with a oh, damp paper towel to probably alleviate that a little bit. So. Okay, while the outside area is drying, we'll go back to kind of working on the inside here. I think that I'm going to do some swiping action here. So what we're going to do is take our dotting tool with the coral blush, put a little dot at the top. And then I'm going to take the etcher or anything pointy and just kind of drag that little dot out here into a little teardrop shape kind of tucked in between those white dots. I'll do that between every single white dot here. Okay, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much for you all. I really enjoy doing these with you and it's so awesome looking back in the comments and just seeing what you struggled with, where you're from, what things you've enjoyed, um, just interacting with you all. I just really appreciate it. So just a continued reminder to go ahead and comment on the video to keep these algorithms from stopping the videos that of your favorite artists from being seen. So say hi, say where you're from, throw an emoji in there, ideas for other videos you'd like to see, questions that you might have, go for it. Please feel free to interact, say hi in the comments. Sometimes other people answer questions for each other. It's super helpful. It's such an awesome community, and I just want to continue to encourage that. I remember to take it all the way out to the edge because if our design had continued on, it would be there. So just take your time and pull that paint out to a point with the tool. So this is just something to bear in mind when you're working on anything is that you can work on different sections while these are drying so they don't bleed into one another or even completely different pieces. So I'm going to actually start on the carrot top here little area up here which I'm going to do in different various greens. Now you can do swipes with a paintbrush which takes a little practice but it's possible. You can do swipes with the etcher tool which is fabulous. I am going to show you tonight again um, 
how to use the angled tool to do the swipe. It just takes a little bit of practice and seeing how much paint you can load on your tool and how far it will drag out. So I have this angled tool and some bluegrass green. And we are going to work on the top here of our carrot. So right in the center here, this one's going to be a little bump just because I have the, um, the hole here that I want to fill in from it being an ornament. Remember at the beginning of the video, we filled it with um, glue. Let's see how you get a nice thick top with the dotting tool. This is the three millimeter. I'm going to do it from the middle and then one out here. And see if it doesn't go all the way, rather than go all the way back to the top of the drag here, the drag out, start at the tip of the tail where you finished off and just grab a little bit of the paint with it and drag it the rest of the way. Another thing you can do, like right now I realize I don't have enough paint on there. I'm going to go back and double dip, grab it. And then drag it out along the edge here. Just like that. Plain, simple, slow, take your time. I know everybody talks about them like swipes and everything, swooshes. Um, it just sounds fast and looks like it's done fast, but it's not. Just take your time. You can even dot it and then use the etcher tool like we did with these little ones and drag the tail where you want it to go. So if you want it curled, you can do different things with that just by dragging the paint where you want it to go. Okay, so the next color I've actually mixed some of the, mixed some of the multi-surface turf green with the bluegrass green. It's picking it a nice kind of rich green color here. And we'll do the same thing on either side of these the swipes. Got to find a place to hold it on my finger that's not wet. And then on either side of the center one, I'm going to give it a go there as well. I'm just kind of putting the dot out a little farther and then dragging it on a curve in so that the tails kind of collide in the middle there. Okay, I'm going to go with some teal mint. And see how slow you just slowly drag that tail out. So we're going to go with the smaller end for this because I'm going to kind of keep this in this division of the carrot. See how this arch comes through here? I'm just going to kind of keep that in that zone there. It'll start to make sense the further along I get here, but see how this is a skinnier swipe because it has less on the tool. That's a smaller end of the ball stylus. Okay, so rather than go crazy with a bunch of other greens, I'm going to start back with the bluegrass green. And this is a two millimeter dotting stylus, so just a hair smaller than the three. I'm 
I'm going to flip it to the smaller end of that, still with the bluegrass green. Come back over here to our center thing here. That's a technical term thing. <laughs> center element area here. Remember, you're working with it wet, so they all will run into each other, but that's gonna be okay. So if you guys have followed me for a while, you know I get kinds of like whimsical at times, so a lot of it stems from just like, well, what do I do in that area? Because I just kind of go step by step without a plan, without a stencil. Um, a lot of times we're flying by the seat of our creative pants, so to speak, so. I am thinking what we're going to do is some kind of like decorative shape in here and then we'll curl it around this way and have them come back on top of one of another. So I'm just debating the best, easiest way to show you guys how to do that right now. Because I can, let's see, I think the etcher tool probably would be the best. Or if you have paint markers, you could do that. Let's see if I have one here. Yeah, so something like this. And you could just kind of draw in. Let me just kind of trace it out so you can see what I have in mind here in my brain. That's something too in my videos. I just kind of talk it out. Because that helps me work through the process. Then it kind of gives you that idea too of what's going on in my head so it can help you in the future kind of come up with your own designs in going through each process. Or you could just put a stencil out and then have a good laid down plan in mind and go from there. So I kind of like the choose your own adventure realm. Kind of like this. And like this. And it kind of gives you that decorative look inside of here. I mean, this is probably the most decorative carrot I've ever seen. I don't know about you all, but. All right, so now I just have to decide which green I want to use for this. And now I'm just deciding do I want. Okay, so I'm going to grab some soft jade here. And then I think also, let's see, I'll do this one first and then see how it goes from here. This is a multi-surface one, so it's a little thicker. And then you just kind of keep pulling the paint to the places you want it to go. And this is the etcher tool. You can do these with brushes as well. And I can flip it to the other end here to just kind of get a little bit of a tinier scale. And this one, it's going to go the other direction. I'm going to make sure we get a good connection there of the paint to the wood. This one's a little more fluid, so you can see it spreads a little easier. I'm glad I traced in these. Sometimes I have a lapse in my brain where it wants to go the other direction. <laughs> You, know, you get used to going one direction with your muscle memory. And sometimes I do these the wrong direction. So tracing it in can be good. And we have some nice decorative little scrollies there. 
All right, so to liven up our car carrot a little bit here, I have lemon chiffon. We're gonna tuck some yellow into these spaces. I think let's do it in between the rose gold dots that we have here. One, two. Can I fit two in each? No, this one won't fit two. See, kind of check your spacing beforehand when you think about what you want to put down for the next element. So I couldn't fit two dots. So we'll just do one a little bit larger. And this just kind of diversifies our color palette here a bit. And then just because I like to carry out the paint colors, I want to put a little up here too by this rose gold that we have for our ovals. Plus it kind of brings that little pop of yellow with it. Okay, let's go back to that nice coral blush color now. In between each of our rose gold ovals here. Whoop, that had a drip on it. And I think with these ones, I'm actually going to pull, pull them down and make a little teardrop shape here. And then keep in mind, if this were a full, full mandala piece, we would have something over the yellow dots if it had continued on the design. So we'd have something on these sides. We can't really squeeze in a big dot like this, but if you just take a little bit and shape it, shape it into the what it would be down in that area. Push down a little too hard there. And that helps kind of Continue your design. This one's smaller, just a little line. And it wouldn't show over on the sides here. So now I'm just debating do I want to try to continue the mandala out here, or do we want to fill it in with some nice big chunks of color using the orangey corals for some swipes in here? That's why I like using the Etcher tool because you can just kind of scratch your design on there and then wipe it off with a little water. You don't have to use a pencil eraser. <laughs> I've kind of become obsessed with this rose gold for this carrot, so I think to kind of break it up a little at first, what I'm going to do is kind of use the lighter coral, the coral shell, up in here. And then we can do some finishing swipes of the rose gold. Since we started in the center with rose gold, we'll finish with that as well. Debating. That's my thought for now, though. <laughs> so in addition, we'll carry these little coral shell, um, this coral shell color into this zone as well, and just kind of bring it throughout the piece. And I just happen to grab my brush, but you can use your small dotting tool. That's one of the things too, just about being laid back about your creating. Just don't stress. I mean, you know what tool looks smaller. Just grab a smaller tool if you need it or Use your brushes or pencil tips or whatever you're going to use. Don't stress about the creative process. Just grab it and go. And if you don't like it, redo it, paint over it black, or go back and get, you know, another design, another canvas, something different. Do it again next time. Do it differently next time. Whichever you want. It doesn't have to be a stressful creation process. <laughs> That's another reason I tend to not use 
any stencils because I feel kind of stifled by that. I think I'm going to go with the two millimeter, the larger one, just to go over our coral. I mean, our rose gold with the coral. And that way, the swipes down here aren't quite so large. That would be there. That one won't. And then we'll use the smaller end to just grab from that paint that's already wet here and do some little side dots just to kind of tie that in. There would be one here on mine anyway. It just kind of makes a base for that element here. Alright, so now that I did that, I kind of want to put white here, just no rhyme or reason, just to brighten it up a little again before the rose gold, but also to kind of fill this in so that you have a more cohesive based area here that's filled in without much negative space. Does that make sense? You'll see. I'm going to use the larger end, two millimeter. And then we'll tuck a white in there. Okay. Now, as I said, we're going to go back to the rose gold. I can put them this way with the tails getting smaller. I can put them this way with the tails coming to a point here, which is what I'm thinking to just kind of follow the pattern of the ones we have up here. But we could also go sideways and do something really funky. But see, it's hard for me to decide too, because then I want to come back and do the, the one that I didn't choose or whatever. <laughs> So, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to keep it with the idea of the carrot top for this one. And we'll just use the 2 millimeter one here. And it's not going to make a small enough tip. I'm going to flip it to the smaller end, I think. Just so I can get yeah. Oh. So the rose gold, this one I'm using, they have them in the metallics, they have them in the decor ones. This one is actually the extreme sheen version, which they are beautiful when they dry, as you can see. They do take a little creativity of working with them. A little patience. <laughs> So, you know what, let's do this. We're going to go lower. I think this will be a little more decorative. And see how you just drag it slowly and it keeps that paint wicked and stuck to your piece so it'll keep dragging out that small little tail and then pulling all the tails into one here I think I can fit using the smaller end one more little one in here And one more on this side. And then let's grab what color do I like the best that I want to pull out of that? 
actually really liked when I mixed the coral shell and coral blush. So I'm going to mix that up and then I will put that in here. Like two little decorative things. Okay, so I'm just kind of going with the same that we did on the carrot top. I'm going to put a little decorative little swirl here, but it's a smaller area, so I'm just going to make a, a dot here. And then I'm going to grab it with the pointy end. Here over this one. And then we still have a little negative space there. I think I'm going to go to our coral blush, just straight up coral blush, and put a dot here, and a dot there. And give it a little smaller dot down below it to anchor it. And I believe this carrot is finished. So I'm going to take a minute to just take a picture of it and look at it and decide if I am done with this design. Okay, so in looking at this, I feel like I need something here and then maybe add the coral blush in between these little ones here. just to kind of bulk up that ring that we have there. So I usually will walk away from the work, step back to it, take a picture of it, look at it kind of from a different point of view that way. And it just gives you a minute to step back and look and see if it needs anything more. So. I'm going to grab some of this steel mint. Was this the one? Well, this one's actually paradise green, but it's very close to the teal mint. Just a little shade darker, and we're just going to do three dots in there. And then let's do one larger one right here at the base. <clears throat> and here is our completed piece. This fun carrot came out so great. So here was our before and after. And then all the tools and process we went through to create this fun piece. I hope you enjoyed doing this with me. Please, if you're looking for tools or other ideas like the varnish, check out the links below. I have lots of great stuff for you to test out and try out. And then if you hang in here a little bit, I'll have some bloopers for you as well. I am so glad to be back with you guys. I hope you're enjoying the videos and I look forward to hearing from you. Happy painting! All right, so without further ado, I just hope that you understand that not everything always goes according to plan, and I hope you get a kick out of these bloopers and mess-ups throughout the process of this video. I found it entertaining. I laugh at myself a lot, so I hope you can laugh too and enjoy these reels. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Miranda Patron Google. Apparently, I'm on the wrong screen. Ah, sorry, everyone. <laughs> Starting this off with a bang. 
All right, so. Yes, can I help you? <laughs> Did you want to be a blooper in my reel? Because now you are. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Say hello to everyone. Hi! <laughs> oh, no, The camera's not on right now. All right, so I've been frequently going to check out the dollar store. Oh, I'm looking at my camera. You see my whole, whole screen. Not good. So this is part of what the studio background sneak peek. <laughs> Just gonna go to the bloopers. Excuse me, that was terrible timing. Ah, all right. So we have our Descartes paint. Descartes, deco art. Get it together, Miranda. Okay, so ugh, we zoomed in. Let's get. Hey. Hey. Ah, stubborn. All right. So at the Dotty Dodder Doll Dollar Tree. <laughs> okay. So this is what we started with, and we're gonna start with today is a piece of carrot. I mean, a piece of MDF. No, we're not painting on carrot. Oh my god. Please stop running around. I'm trying to record. Thank you. Oh, nope. Already recording. This is my rowdy house, everyone. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> so this is what it... Oh! So you can paint the background black, or you can do different colors. You can also do um, like a burn. What is going on with my light? Hold, please. So you can varnish it, and that will. Um, whoa! Oh no, I cracked it. Oh. Next carrot, please. So once you get your background done like this, if you wanted to go ahead and seal. Oh. Yeah, I have water fingers today. <laughs> Maybe. 